we're going to talk about um, conspiracy theory. Okay, so um, like everything, everything is opposites. So what are the opposites? So like you've got the moon, you've got the sun, you've got the sky, you've got the earth. You know what I mean? You've got male, you've got female. There's no third or fourth. There's no, there, there's no bi. There's no trans. There's no, you know what I mean? There's not being, and I'm not like picking at that particular group. that there's opposites. You know, there's, there's a positive side, a positive side, a negative side. There's a male side, a female side. Interesting com- uh, com- conversation I was having the other day with a friend of mine. And we're talking about, um, you know, the charging wires. I'll show you it actually. Um, so if you look at, look at the charging wire here, right? You've got, um, I don't know which one's male and female. I think that's female. That's the male. And that's the female part, yeah. But the new modern charges, you've all got, um, I think it's the male part or the female part. So even in the uh, wires now, they become gender neutral. So then you've got what you call it. Um, so now, anyone who tries to speak the truth, they'll say um, he's a conspiracy theorist. It's all conspiracy theory. Whereas people who lie, they speak like um, they actually start telling the truth. So you've got like a, a tradition, a saying of the Prophet Muhammad It says that um, in in the end in the end days, after the zaman, it says that um, the person who tells the truth will be will be called a liar by the people. And then the person who tell who actually lies, the people will say he's truthful. So you uh, you said that you can the best sad that you when you said the kadhaf. That's what it is. Um okay. So conspiracy theory. You find today that if um, if you really go into conspiracy theory and even uh, as the days go on, you start to find out that the people that we used to call crazy, they're actually speaking the truth. So conspiracy theory is actually now becoming conspiracy conspiracy fact. So a person who's a conspiracy theorist, they shouldn't call themselves conspiracy theorists because they're not. They should call themselves conspiracy factualists because it's fact what they're saying. If they're saying that, you know, there's the anti is coming out, that's not theory, that's fact. We know it's happening. We can witness it today, the effects of him, what he's doing. So a conspiracy, so people with conspiracy theory, it's not, it's fact. They're speaking the fact. What's going on wrong, okay? Bad things are happening in the world. You know what I mean? So the so-called all these i'm not gonna if i mention certain words youtube gonna block my videos so i'm not gonna do that but we'll, you know what i'm talking about and then you've got people now so i'll tell you who's a conspiracy theorist darwinism was a conspiracy theorist he believes we came from monkeys that's theory he hasn't got proof for it all the atheists right they've got no fact there's no scientific evidence to back up what they're saying do you know what i mean now they try to flip it you know what I mean? Because when you say, okay, proof that you came from a monkey, proof that your mum and dad were monkeys, you know what I mean? Prove you got, prove that, go, go and sleep with a monkey and see if you can actually produce a baby between you and the monkey itself. They can't. So they'll reply to flip a back and they'll say something like, um, yeah, but you can't prove that there's a God. But this is the thing. Yeah, I, okay. There's two things to prove something, someone's or something's existence. One thing is to actually see them. The second is to see the effects. So here's the thing, okay fine, I can't see God, but I can see the effects of God, because you wouldn't exist, I wouldn't exist, you tell me everything happens, like everything just happens by coincidence, that everything just fell in place, we, I accidentally was born, you accidentally were born, it's not true is it, it can't be, even, and even the atheists realise it themselves, okay fine, you don't want to believe in God, that's your belief, you've got the right to believe whatever you want to believe, I've got the right to believe, I have the right to believe it's a God, that's what I'm called a believer, and you're called a disbeliever. You're a disbeliever because you don't believe. That That's my in the room, def- definition of who I am, definition of who you are. But at the end of the day, the end of the day, you have no right to attack other people's beliefs. You, you can't do that. You've got, who gives you that right? Do you know what I mean? Sitting there with the debates. And just as bad are the religious people debating. You're going on the streets and pulling people up and saying, oh, show me the proof. Like you got Muslims say, show me the proof. In, show me the proof in your Bible that Jesus is God. What's it got to do with you? You go and behave yourself and live a good life and be a good person. It doesn't matter if you're a Islam preacher, Islamic preacher, you're a Christian preacher. Stop going around causing aggro and causing problems. Go and live a good life. You want to put yourself, put your, put your efforts into doing something good, something constructive. What would that be? There's kids starving in the world, kids dying in the world. You know what I mean? People are suffering in the world. Stop going on the streets and trying to promote your social media and crap 
are trying to make money, you know what I mean, through ads and all this crap. You know what I mean? Put your efforts into actually being a, a decent human being. Because that's what it is. So I'm a conspiracy factualist. Because it's true what I'm saying. 